dear students of 10th class assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah today we will try to understand the play from page number 162 to 2 to 163 natalia asks her father to hurry Chaboko returns. He informs Natalia that Lomo is coming. He doesn't intend on talking to him and thus asks her to have a word with him herself. Natalia cries for Lomo. He is unable to accept what just happened. He feels that it is both a burden and a curse. To be a grown-up girl's father, he wants to cut his throat off because at one moment they cursed, abused and threw him out of their house and at the other they are calling him back to accept the proposal. Natalia blames her father for abusing him. Chuboko clarifies that it was not his fault when Lomo appears at the door, he tells Natalia to handle the situation herself. Lomo enters completely exhausted. He doesn't feel well because of his palpitations, numb feet and pulls on one side. Natalia surprisingly in a completely different tune gives clarification for how they treated him earlier. She suddenly remembers that the oxen meadows are his. While trying to talk about the meadows, he expresses that his heart is pounding and eyebrows twitching. Natalia confirms that the oxen meadows are his and asks him to sit down. She accepts her mistake and says that they were wrong. Lomo said that although the land is worth little, but he was just acting on principle. He was just being fair. Natalia tells him to change the topic in the hope of bringing up the proposal. Lomo doesn't stop with his clarifications and again mentions that his aunt's grandmother gave the land to her father's grandfather's peasants. Natalia asks him to change the topic. She thinks how could she bring him to discuss the marriage proposal. She asks Lomo if he shall resume shooting. Upon being asked, Lomo shares his plans about shooting. He plans on going to the black cock after the harvest. He then shares the news that his dog Gas suffers difficulty in walking properly. She shows her sympathy and asks how he had gone lamb. How he had gone lamb. Lomo is not sure of the reason but he suspects that he might have got his leg twisted or bitten by some other dog. He highly regrets it as it was his best dog and he had paid a high amount that is 125 rubles for it. Natalia thinks he had paid a very high amount for such a dog. He thinks it was very low for a first-rate dog like Gas. She mentions that her father gave 85 rubles for her dog, Skizer, who is in a way better than Gas. He finds it extremely funny that Skizer is better than Gas.
Natalia confidently says that Caesar is any way better. He is young, but he may develop a bit. He is the best when it comes to points and pedigree even beats what whole Janet Sikai has got. Lomo highlights that her squeezer is an overshot which means he is bad at hunting. She doesn't agree with what Lomo is saying about squeezer being an overshot. He further confirms by saying that squeezer's lower jaw is smaller than the upper jaw. He mentions that squeezer is fine when it comes to simply following someone but not at other things like grabbing something. Natalia brags about her dog being a thoroughbred, the son of horness and chisels. She says that Guess on the other hand is old and ugly as a worn out cab horse. Lomo says that although his dog is old, but is still any way better than Skizer, to the extent that he won't exchange gas for five Skizers. He doesn't think Skizer as an extraordinary dog. He can be found almost under every bush and that he is not worth more than 25 rubles. Natalia feels that there is something wrong with Lomo's judgment. First, he falsely claimed Meadows to be his. And then he is saying that Guess is better than Squeezer. She feels that he is out of his mind and does not mean what he is saying, which is a trait she absolutely dislikes. She doesn't get why he thinks his dog is better than Skizer. Lomo says that Natalia thinks he is either blind or foolish, but insists that her dog is overshot. They start fighting again. Natalia says that Lomo is talking rubbish. Yes, must be dead must be short dead rather than being compared to Skizer. Lomo mentions that he is unable to talk on the topic since his heart is pounding very fast. Natalia taunts Lomo and says that those who are you the most know the least. Lomo tells Natalia to stay quiet as he is not feeling well. Natalia continues arguing and refuses to stop until he accepts that her dog Skizer is better than his guess. Lomo exclaims that it could never be true and that her Skizer is the worst. Thanks.